Profoto utilizes designs as a way for you to save and use different sets of customizations on your Profoto site. Anytime you make a customization to your site and save it, that setting is being saved as part of your current design. With Profoto, you can create and save as many designs as you'd like. That way you can save sets of customizations separately and switch between them at any time you want. To help you get started, Profoto comes pre-installed with a number of free design starter templates, which you can use to begin customizing your site. Additionally, we also sell a variety of add-on starter designs in our design store, which are pre-made Profoto designs that have been designed by third-party designers. These are a great way to have a fantastic looking site if you don't have the time to customize your own. Our design store can be accessed at profoto.com slash buy dash add dash ons. To use and manage your designs, you'll want to head to the Manage Profoto Designs page, which can be found by going to Profoto Manage Designs in your WordPress admin. The Manage Profoto Designs page has a lot of information on it, so we're going to take a tour of the page, section by section. Starting at the top, we have the Active Design area, which displays your current active design. Basically, your current active design is the place where all of your current customization choices are being saved. Whenever you make a customization change in the Customize area of Profoto, it is always automatically being saved to your current active design. When you first activate Profoto, we start you off with the default design starter. So if you've already made changes in the Customize area of Profoto, before visiting the Manage Designs page for the first time, all of those changes have already been stored to this active initial default design. If you want to change the name of your design, just click the Edit Info button and you can edit the name and description of your design. Down at the bottom of your Manage Designs page is a section called Starter Designs displaying all of the built-in design starter templates that come included with Profoto. A lot of people will start off by choosing one of the templates that most closely matches their brand or style and then begin customizing from there. Additionally, if you've purchased an add-on design from the store, the add-on design will appear in an area above starter designs titled Paid Starter Designs. All of the starter designs you see give you several option buttons. You can click the Preview New Design button, which will open your site in a new browser window, showing you what it would look like if you were to actually use that design. This is a great way to see what your site might look like using a different design, without actually having to create or activate a new design. Clicking the Download Resource Kit button for the included starter designs allows you to download any special design elements that might be used for that design specifically. For example, some of the designs use layered PSD files for the certain elements within the design. When you click the Download Resource Kit button, you will then receive all of those files so that you can use and edit them for yourself. Several of the more complex included starter designs also have a Customization Tutorial button link that you can click and will take you to a tutorial explaining where all of the design elements for that particular design can be found in the Profoto customization area and how they can be modified. To create a new design using one of the included or paid starter design templates, just click on the Create New Design button within that design. Enter a design name and description. Then click Save New Design. As soon as you do that, you'll notice that the new design becomes available as an inactive design. This section holds any designs that are saved but are currently inactive. You can always activate any of your inactive designs by simply clicking on the Activate button. Another way you can start a new design is by clicking the Start a New Design button. When you do so, you'll be able to enter a new design name and description 
and then you'll be able to pick which of the existing designs or design templates you want the new design to be based on. You have the option of choosing either the current design, any inactive designs, or any of the design templates. When you're done, just click Save New Design. Profoto also provides a button on each of your designs called Copy, which as the name suggests, allows you to make a copy of the design. Think of it as a Save As button. Imagine that you've made a lot of customizations to your blog and you're very happy with how it looks. You want to keep experimenting with it, but also want the option of coming back to how it looks right then. Just make a copy of the design. By doing this, you're basically making a snapshot or a replica of the design. Then you can continue customizing and experimenting, knowing that if at any point you want to revert to how it looked when you copied it, you can activate the copy design from the inactive design section. Finally, Profoto also allows you to export and download your design in a convenient zip file. All you have to do is click on the export button on your active or inactive designs and you'll be prompted to download a zip file. And if you have a design export zip file that was created using Profoto, or a design zip that you purchased from our design store, you can upload that design by clicking the Upload Design Zip button and selecting the zip file. This allows you to easily move designs between sites whenever you want to.